Now the next question that we got is, why is the Sabbath from sunset to sunset and not sunrise to sunrise? You know, this is actually a very interesting point. When you go back to creation, then you have uh, the creation days following each other, and it always says, from, and it was evening, and it was morning, the first day. And the second day starts with evening, evening and morning. morning, and so we go through. So the day in the Bible starts where the sun sets. Mm. That's when the day starts. Now, why is that important? If you take uh, the modern day, which of course was introduced by Roman Catholicism again, then it went from midnight to midnight. Mm. Now, sensible people, <laughs> let's put it that way, are they normally awake at midnight? No. No. So the day comes when you're asleep, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect you. And morning, when would morning be? Let's define at sunrise if you want to. Yeah. Is everybody awake at sunrise? Not necessarily, no. no. Is everybody normally mm -hmm. awake at sunset? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So you can actually greet the day. And what a way to start the day by greeting the day as it arrives, preparing to rest, and then experience a mini resurrection when you wake up yes. in that day. Live your day until the sun set and then say goodbye to that day and greet the next one. So when is the more logical time mm. to start a day? At sunset or at midnight? At sunset. Sunset. So from sunset to sunset shall the day be. That's how God defined it. And then in Leviticus 23:32 it says, It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest. Now it's talking about ceremonial Sabbaths. Mm. But it applies to all Sabbaths. And you shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at even. From even unto even shall you celebrate your Sabbath. So even the ceremonial Sabbaths were from sunset to sunset. To sunset. You can greet it coming. You can greet it going. Now the other interesting thing is, if you wanted to really desecrate the Sabbath, now in some places in the world, sunset is early. Mm. In some places, sunset is very late. If you go into the northern latitudes, and it's summer, the sun sets very late. Yes. And in some areas, yeah. it hardly sets, sets at all, yeah. right? The sun comes down, dips down to the horizon, and then goes back up again. So how would you calculate your Sabbath? From the lowest point to the lowest point, right? Hmm. That would be exactly the same thing. So if you wanted to desecrate the Sabbath, then how about making it midnight to midnight? Hmm. You start your parties when the sun goes down, and you keep them going until midnight Saturday night. That means you've destroyed the entire Sabbath. Mm. And then you have a rest on the first day of the week, which is a common working day. And you have managed to trample on the Sabbath. When is the worst party time in the world? Mm -hmm. Friday night? Hour, hour, yeah, I wanted to ask. Hour-wise or day-wise? Today, yeah. in the world today. Saturday. Friday? Mm, till Friday, when? Friday evening till Sunday morning. Yeah, until at least Saturday midnight, midnight right? Yeah. So then you've really destroyed the Sabbath. So that's the most drinking, the most carousing, mm. the most licentious time of the week mm. in, modern, in the modern world. Yes. Uh, is it a plan to desecrate the Sabbath? Well, if Satan is behind it, definitely. That's right. So if your Sabbath is from sunset to sunset, 
the children are involved, the whole family is involved, and uh, it can be a very special time. Change that time and you create chaos. Absolutely.